market and as we stand you have uh, the Sensex that's gaining by 125 odd points. Let's focus though on Indian, Indian Bank. This is uh, a counter of, that is in focus on account of its earnings. It's uh, down about a percent and a half right now. Uh, Pat uh, coming in at 1089 crore rupees up as much as 164 percent on a year-on-year -year basis and uh, the net interest income coming in at 4084 crore rupees and there was in fact an improvement in uh, GNP as we've got the management of the bank joint joining in we've got Shri, uh, Sh Shantilal Jain who's the managing director and chief executive officer of Indian Bank thank you so much Mr. Jain for joining in I want to start by asking about the assessment of the quarter gone by clearly there are improvements that are seen on the asset quality side and the Pat has jumped significantly. What stood out to you? And as a result, what is happening over cost of deposit has come down and our margin has improved from 2.86 to 2.89. Our collection efficiency has improved both based on month on month basis as well as on a, on a, on a, on a community basis for gross MPA. And the NDA has, has declined. Our provision coverage ratio has improved. As far as our capital position is concerned, capital, of course, slightly decreased from the last quarter, but it is in tier two where we have exercised the call option and paid 600 for our bed. tier two bonds. Otherwise, my capital has increased in CT in, as well as in AT1, and that is exclusive of the current. Half year profit of 2000. So, in lump sum, your income is increasing, your spread is increasing, your business is growing, right? And your NPAs are declining, your, your SMAs are declining, and your this collection efficiency is improving. Stainless steel, you are getting good, right? And all this has culminated in, in an increase in operating profit by 11% and increase in net profit by 165%. All right, but I, I want to look at a couple of metrics. Your net interest income number, for example, has fallen. When I look at the NIMS, that also has shrunk on a year on year basis. Uh, could you give us some perspective on these two, uh, specifically on the margins? Do you see that stabilizing the quarters to come? You see, our NIM is 2.89%, it was last time 2.86%. If you see last year, last year, what happened? There was a COVID period, there was a, there was a Supreme Court directives not to classify any account as MP, and as a result, there was no interest reversal in the corresponding period of the of the last quarter. But after 31st March, it is being classified and interest reversals are happening. So on a sequential basis, how the things are improving. That is the uh, the take from this results. Mr. Jain, good morning. You know, the provisioning that we're seeing in Indian Bank continues to look elevated and seem high. Why is that? And uh, what does this mean about recoveries? What exactly is, is there an issue? Is there a slowdown? What's going on? So, so, so this quarter, you see the provisions, major, one of the major provisions, this quarter has come from one NDFC account where we are having a particular way. 50% provision. Second is COVID restructuring when we have to do a 10% provision. Barring these two items, if you exclude these items, we can say these are one time items because there's a big account which has slipped and we have built a 50% provisions. So there will be there will be a reduction in the provision going power which I see. Mr. Jain. Uh, thank you for clarifying that. Uh, there's uh, something else I wanted to ask you. When I go through your press release, it states, and I read it out, the bank has focused on capital light growth, capital light growth in credit, unquote. What does it mean? What's this, what is this strategy? So basically, A, double A, triple A, they are basically the risk rates are 20%, 30%, 50%, in common business, or retail, retail is, as a joint loan, virtually there is no capital requirement. On, 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 on a retail, it is a 75%, housing, it is a 35%. So we will be continue to focus on, on those, those. Thank you so much for taking the time. Wish you all the best for the rest of the financial year as well. And that brings us to the end of this edition of the market as we close.